in this video i will consider one numerical on superposition theorem find va using superposition theorem this is the given circuit here we have to find va that is voltage across 3 ohm resistor using superposition theorem so here we can observe that 4 volt is a independent voltage source 2 amp is also independent current source where 2a 2va is dependent voltage source so it is dependent on voltage va so it is voltage dependent voltage source so as we know in superposition theorem we have to consider one source at a time so we have to concentrate only on independent sources we have to keep dependent source as it is so if we consider voltage source and here the current source should be open circuited when we consider a current source the voltage source should be short circuited so now consider so now consider 4 volt source alone so here the 2 amp current source should be open circuited let me open this so this is open now so now i will try to find the voltage across 3 ohm resistor so i will call the voltage across 3 ohm resistor as va1 so when this is va1 this will also be va1 so let me solve this using loop analysis we can solve either using loop analysis or node analysis let current through this loop is x current through this loop is y so now let me apply kvl to loop x i can write 4 is equal to voltage across this is 3x voltage across this is plus 2x plus voltage across 5 ohm resistor is phi in bracket x plus phi let me simplify 4 is equal to this is 3x plus 2x plus 5x that is 10x plus 5y let me call it as equation 1 now apply kvl to loop y that is apply kvl to loop y so i can start from the voltage source that is 2va1 is equal to voltage across 1 ohm is 1 into y plus voltage across 5 ohm resistor is 5x plus 5y so here we can observe that va1 is equal to voltage across 3 ohm resistor that is here it is shown plus here it is shown minus it indicates current is flowing in this direction that positive to negative but here we have taken x negative to positive so va1 will be minus 3x so let me substitute va1 value here that is minus 3x so here it will be 5x plus 1y plus 5y is 6y or i can write this is minus 6x is equal to 5x plus 6y or i can write 0 is equal to i'll take 6x on other side it will be 11x plus 6y let this be equation number 2 so now solving equation 1 and 2 that is solving equation 1 and 2 so these two linear equations can be solved directly using calculator that is possible so here x is equal to 4.8 amps and we have phi is equal to minus 8.8 .8. now therefore let me write va1 value so va1 is equal to we have minus 3x minus 3x that is nothing but minus 3 into 4.8 therefore va1 is equal to it will be minus 14.4 volts so va1 is the voltage across 3 ohm resistor considering 4 volt source alone now let me consider 2 amp source alone so in that case 4 volt voltage source must be short circuited so now from this circuit now we have to consider 2 amp source alone so in that case the 4 volt voltage source should be short circuited let me draw the circuit so now consider 2 amp source alone so when we consider 2 amp source alone this should be short circuited let me remove this 
so I will short circuit this. This is short circuit now. Now I will assume that current through three ohm resistor voltage across three ohm resistor is V A two. In that case, this will be V A two. So now let me find V A two. So here we have three loops. Let current through this loop is X. Current through this loop is Y, and current through this loop is Z. So here we can observe that there is a current source between two loops. So in that case, we have to analyze current source first. That is, I can write here it as two is equal to x plus y. Let it be equation one. So now we have to assume that this current source is removed from the circuit. In that case, this entire will be a single loop. That single loop is known as super loop. Now we have to apply KVL to super loop. That is, apply KVL to super loop. That is A, B, C, D, E, F. So this A, B, C, D, E, F is known as super loop. Now let me apply KVL to this super loop. So I can write zero is equal to start from any one of the Register so voltage across this is 3x. Thus move in the direction of current. The current will flow like this, and it will flow like this. Now it will flow through 5 ohm resistor. So voltage across 5 ohm resistor is current y and z are opposite to. Now our direction is like this, but y and z are opposite. So we should write minus 5. We have y plus z as y and z are flowing in same direction plus And voltage across two ohm is we are flowing in this direction, but y is opposite, so it will be minus two y. So let me simplify. Zero is equal to we have three x minus five y minus five z minus two y, or I can write zero is equal to three x. We have five y and two y. That is minus seven y minus five z. Call it as equation two. Now let me apply KVL to loop Z. That is apply KVL to loop Z. Start from voltage source. Two VA two is equal to we have voltage across one ohm resistor is one into Z plus voltage across five ohm resistor is five Y plus five Z. So here we can observe that VA two Can write here V A two is equal to three x. So V A two is nothing but three x. So here two into V A two is three x is equal to one z. That is I can write five y five x z plus one z. That is six z. Or I can write six x equal to five y plus six z. Or I can write zero is equal to We have minus six x plus five y plus six z. Let me call it as equation three. Now let's solve equation one and two, one two and three to find the loop currents. That is solving equation one, two, and three. We get. So these equations one, two, and three can be solved directly using calculator. Let so we will get x equal to six point eight, y is minus four point eight, and we have z is ten point eight. So therefore, I can write now V A two as V A two is equal to three x. That is. Three into six point eight, so we will get twenty point four. So V A two is equal to twenty point four. So V A two is the voltage across three ohm resistor, considering two amp source alone. So now let's calculate V A because in circuit we have V A. So V A is equal to V A one plus V A two. That is V A one. Plus V A two gives V A. Therefore, V A is equal to V A one plus V A two. 
that is V A is equal to V how V A one is nothing but minus fourteen point four minus fourteen V A two is twenty point four plus twenty point four. Therefore, V A is equal to twenty point four minus fourteen point four. It gives six volts. So this is voltage across three ohm resistor that is V A that is equal to six volts. This is solved using superposition theorem. Thank you for watching.